Hello, 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 warriors. Welcome to Kian Plays. Genshin Impact. Anyways, this is the, the ugh, his story. You know. We're gonna do the Dark Knight hero story. Yeah. And this is on the um, a different server. I started the game all over again because I want to remember stuff. But I... Yeah, I don't remember much. But anyways. Charles. But don't worry, I'll go back to do Kaya's story on another server. But yeah. So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh. It's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? If so, Paima needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of... The Dark Knight Hero. <laughs> Paimon, he literally just said not a scary story. <laughs> huh? Did the bartender just say something? You weren't even listening. Anyway, the Dark Knight hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. He's Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. <laughs> I would happily take that as proof of his existence. <sighs> I doubt anyone knows but him. Maybe he enjoys being a man of mystery. After all, it's a good way to get the ladies' attention. I highly doubt he would want that. Any guy in the tavern could tell you that. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Uh, I need to serve some customers. Dark Knight Hero. Seems like your standard cookie-cutter urban legend. But just a little darker. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. Okay, let's do this. I can't move. Wait. The freak? I can do TCG now? Anyways, I'm I'm just gonna leave. I'll worry about TCG stuff later. I'll do it off camera. Mm, can I just teleport? No. Did the thing... Ah, dang it. I have to... <laughs> okay, I, I think I have to do the TCG thing. And where would that be? Because I get this is... That's an event going on. There's too much... I'm. Let me click on you. Okay, where's Margaret? Margaret, where are you? I was so focused to do the look story and stuff, but now, now I gotta do this. Do I need to go to the cattails? Because I will go. To, I don't care about the freaking commission. I'll go to cattails if I have to. No cattails ain't. Where's Margaret? Oh, I think she's right here. Is she right here? No, that's Norma. That's Sara. I I honestly oh oh there oh. Oh. Uh, so sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? I was gonna make this into a thing for freaking D Luke right now but now i'm gonna be doing you know what 
it, it, things happen, whatever. You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Sucrose, my wifey, I love you. I love you, Sucrose. Anyways, go ahead and read that, you guys. Yeah, read that up. Okay, we're done reading hey, that. What are you chatting about? And who might this be? Oh, oh, hello, you two. Uh, this is Sucrose. Hi, I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I, I do my best to help. You don't need to be so nervous. Huh? Do I look nervous? M my apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. That's okay. You don't have to force yourself. I'm unsure that once we get to know each other better, we'll become really good friends. Hey, aren't you the legendary traveler? The one who repelled Storm Terror? You know, leg legendary is a bit much. I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. Um, girl, what? what? Uh, what do you mean, research? <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. What am I saying? Well, never mind. So, what were you two talking about just now? Sucrose received a strange package recently. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Cute sucrose. Oh, you meant these? Huh, sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! So this game we've been hearing about. No, to be honest, I don't want to do this because it takes me like two or three hours to beat a card game because I got to do all that thinking and stuff like I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh or something. I honestly don't want to do this. And that, that's going to make this um episode whatever longer, three or four hours or something. I don't want that. Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. This is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House in Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story it starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured inside. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the Casket of Tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? 
Uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. It took me two years. Two years to realize that she has animal ears. That's so adorable. <clears throat> well, uh... I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. You guys are putting me to sleep, you know. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Again, you guys are putting me to sleep. All right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter. Okay, fine. Paimon's curious and would like to give it a try. Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon. <laughs> well, research it, but... If you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG... Oh, so this was... Okay, so I have to go to... I was about to say, do I have to go to Mar... Yeah, I really do gotta go to Margaret if I wanna do D, D Luke's story. I thought I had to finish D Luke's story and then I can worry about TCG stuff, but apparently... I gotta worry about TCG stuff and then I gotta do D Luke's story. That's stupid. Whatever it is, what it is. Let's, let's go. Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. I already know how to play. Understood. Traveler, Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. I mean, if they're going to give me a, a tutorial of how to play... I hope there's a skip button. There better be a skip button. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Because when I get playing, like I said, it takes me hours to beat. Hours to beat. Anyways, um... I hope... I don't end up playing a card game right now because I'm not in the mood. Because when they was doing e um the um event, like when they was doing when they was doing this event, I saw Ito, and he asked me to play with him, and I said no. I told him no, and then he he, he was about to cry. I told him no. Anyways, um yeah, enter. I mean, now I regret that I didn't get to play with him. Oh, well. I did play with um Sino when it was a Windrise event, but he beat me. Welcome to the Cat's Tale. Ah, <laughs> it's the Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. Oh, and Sucrose the Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale, no matter how much mora you offer. <laughs> Don't worry, Margaret. Uh, Sucrose, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses. I'm just gonna, like, skip it and you can read it yourself because I'm, but, I'm in uh, a hurry. We can talk about that later. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TC... A genius invocation teeth. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the cat's tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to. St ah, allow me to interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as. Hmm, <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. 
only prince, the strongest and most formidable TC. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every- Wow! Another guy who can understand animals! Duly noted, I might just end it here and do this off camera. And then save D. Luke's story for another time because wow. Just wow. But then again, let's continue and just see what happens. I just want to see what happens. How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to prince. Meow. Oh, what's that? Shu Yen. In the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to- Hmm. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? Yes, it was the sacred duels of genius invocation, TCG, that formed and cemented our bonds of mutual understanding. It's my firm belief that by simply playing the game, players can develop a deeper level of understanding between one another. Who talking? Was that Prince or was that that guy? Because his mouth was not moving. So, playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? Hmm, somehow Pylon doubts that. Um, Sucrose, it's just that link is making friends. Just bonding. Uh-huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please, though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk- Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself. And I- <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. He's a cat. How can he play? I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm. <gasps> How about this? Diona! Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know? I like how she just got up from the ground from behind the, the counter like that. Anyways, y'all worried. Is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh! Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Seriously, games and drinks don't mix! Don't they get that? What well, can Kaya, I say? Kaya, the tavern <laughs> yeah, Kaya. Over, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Oh, I remember. There is a reason. Kaya around. <laughs> anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah, what kind of break is that? I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play genius invocation TV? Okay, I'm this anyway? close to, you know, uh, here. You know, drink here. <sighs> here. My dear, you are read that. quite mistaken. You said it yourself. Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only C could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then. Our two cut. It's just they talk so what? damn much. Shu Yen is destined for a far. Shu Yen, drink mix. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space. They talk way too much, and I already seen this. I've been here. Just wow. Do I have to? Am, am, am I able to? Never mind. 
I'm able to continue to deluxe stuff. But now I don't want to, and I'm already into this, so, um. Okay. Who who am I trying to battle and duel? Oh, I'll just talk to Donna. I mean, Di Diana. Whatever, you get her name. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck. I know. Deck? I know. Yes. You should have the I know. <laughs> What's with the blank stairs? Come on. Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. That's right. We have some cards that I received from a friend. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than... Okay, 